Imagine waking up one day and suddenly realizing you're different. You pick up a pen and bam, you're using your left hand while everyone else is using their right. Welcome to the world of left-handers, a mysterious 10% of the population that science still struggles to explain. But why are some people left-handed? Is it genetics, evolution, or is there something much weirder going on? Let's find out. First, let's look at the stats. Only 10% of the world's population is left-handed. That's insanely low. If being left-handed were just a random trait, you'd expect it to be closer to 50-50. But nope, right-handers dominate, and they always have. In fact, scientists have found cave paintings from 30,000 years ago showing that even back then, most early humans were right-handed. So, what's going on? Theory number one, the genetics of left-handedness. The first explanation, it's in your DNA. Scientists have found that left-handedness tends to run in families. If both of your parents are left-handed, there's about a 25% chance you'll be left-handed too. But here's the weird part. Scientists haven't found a single left-hand gene. Instead, it seems like multiple genes might influence handedness, but we still don't fully understand how. And here's where it gets even crazier. Identical twins, who share the exact same DNA, don't always have the same dominant hand. That means genes alone can't be the full story. Environmental factors, such as how babies develop in the womb, might also play a role in determining handedness. Interestingly, some research suggests that left-handedness may be linked to prenatal exposure to testosterone. In other words, higher levels of testosterone in the womb might increase the likelihood of a baby developing left-handed tendencies. But this is still just a theory. Theory number two, the brain mystery. Are left-handers smarter? One of the biggest myths about left-handers is that they're smarter than right-handers. But is it true? Well, studies show that left-handers think differently because their brains are wired in a unique way. Most people process language on the left side of their brain, but left-handers tend to use both hemispheres more evenly. This might explain why so many creative geniuses were left-handed. Albert Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama. Left-handers are often associated with creativity activity, problem-solving, and out-of-the-box thinking. But before left-handers get too cocky, there's another side to this. Studies also show that left-handers are more prone to learning disabilities, mental health conditions, and even migraines. Some research suggests that lefties may have a slightly higher risk of dyslexia, ADHD, and even schizophrenia. So, are left-handers gifted or cursed? Maybe both. Theory number three, evolution and the survival of right-handers. If left-handedness has been around for thousands of years, why didn't it die out? Wouldn't natural selection have erased it by now? Well, one theory suggests that being right-handed helped humans survive. Since most people are right-handed, early humans designed tools, weapons, and even fighting techniques to favor righties. In battle, left-handers had an advantage because they were unpredictable, but overall, right-handers adapted better to society. But here's where it gets interesting. Left Left-handedness might have survived because of sports and combat. In medieval duels, lefties had an upper hand because most people weren't used to fighting them. Even today, left-handed baseball players and boxers often have a strategic advantage. In fact, studies show that in elite sports, left-handed athletes are often overrepresented compared to their right-handed counterparts. So maybe left-handers aren't weird. They're just the ultimate wild cards. Theory number four, were left-handers once considered evil? Believe it or not, for most of history, being left-handed was a bad thing. In many cultures, the left hand was associated with bad luck, weakness, or even the devil. The word sinister actually comes from the Latin word for left. Even in the 20th century, schools forced left-handed children to use their right hands. It wasn't just inconvenient, it was psychological torture. Many left-handed kids developed anxiety, stuttering, or even learning difficulties just because society wanted them to be normal. And yet, despite all that, left-handers still exist. They've survived centuries of bias, discrimination, and even forced correction. So maybe there's a reason why lefties refuse to disappear. What if right-handers are the weird ones? What if we've been looking at this the wrong way? What if left-handers aren't the minority? What if right-handers are just an evolutionary mistake? Think about it. In the animal kingdom, handedness is way more balanced. Some parrots are left-footed, some chimps use tools with their left hands. Humans might just be the only species where right-handedness took over, and we still don't know why. And here's a wild thought. What if in the future, left-handedness becomes the dominant trait? Maybe technology, AI, or even brain evolution will favor lefties one day. And if that happens, well, right-handers, welcome to the minority. What do you think?
Are left-handers genetically special? Are they truly more creative? Or is it all just random chance? Comment below if you're a lefty or a righty, and let us know if you think one side is better than the other. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your left-handed or right-handed friends.